I need to know how to fix a PlayStation 4 controller. Sony will sometimes take the old DualShock 4 controllers and replace them for free. You have to pay for shipping when you send it to them. That's still cheaper than a new controller. And it is the best option if you've got a new controller. I'd like the thing to work as good as new without waiting the 2 to 4 weeks for the repair center to do its job. And no, it isn't new enough to be under warranty. This deal was open to anyone who got the controllers back in 2013 where the sticks wore out way too fast. I don't know if that's true today. I bought my console and controllers after 2013. The solution also depends on why the controller isn't working. However, if you wore out the controller's sticks, there are replacement sticks you could buy as part of a kit to fix them. I'm worried that if I try to take it apart, I'll ruin it. And that's not the issue I've had. If you've been playing with one hand on the controller and yet another on a slice of pizza, you could clean the grease off the controller with a cotton swab and rubbing alcohol. As long as I don't spill any on the controller. If you've spilled water or soda into the controller and shorted out the circuits, yes, you'll need to get a new controller. What else can I try? Charge it long enough to fully charge it, and make sure the system is on or in rest mode. I know the controller won't charge if the console is off. You'll be able to see the charge level of the controller battery when you hold down the PS button. How do I know it is charging if the system is in rest mode? The light bar blinks orange when in rest mode and charging the controller, and the light turns off when the charging is done. Yet I don't know if a low battery is the root cause. It will stop vibrating before it stops working, as the battery runs down. I do charge it, but the controller battery may be running low, because the battery memory has reset so that full is barely charged. Use a Philips OO screwdriver to take the screws off the rear cover, use a wedge tool to take the cover off. Meaning this isn't something they intend you to do at home. After you take the controller apart, you have to remove the circuit board ribbons, including the one connecting the motherboard to the battery. Remove the battery carefully, to not damage the plug. If I did, I'd know why the controller didn't work after I put in a new battery. Install the new battery, reconnect everything in reverse order, then charge it. I'd rather extend the battery life, so this doesn't have to be done as often. Turn down the brightness of the control bar, turn off vibration due to its energy demands. That's because it uses so much energy. And you can turn down the volume, by telling it to automatically turn off the controller via the settings. Power saving settings option is better. I wonder if this is a setting problem. Check that menu selection to see if it turns off settings after 10 minutes instead of 60 if it shuts down before you expected it. Then again, you can just turn it off by holding down the PS button for 10 seconds. And reboot, because every other change like that seems to demand it. If the controller suddenly stopped working after the last software update, rebooting it is the first thing I'd say to try, before you start looking at the hardware.